to hear a new story? Oh, very well. Where shall we begin? Allows the bard to equip and use to it and come to this at last. One man, a poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing, should it come to that. Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song, as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. Outside the drunken rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary, the bard readied his instrument and prepared to apply his trade. and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. Oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal, for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got. In case you run into trouble. Oh, and uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows, or has he? Ah! Ah! The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. Called off when I return, or you're next. Who the 
hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie, don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. So do yourself a favor and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you got. Before you head down there... And I know what I'm doing, old man. I have no need for advice from the likes of you. Next. story and leave the sarcastic patronizing to me, okay? Go back to where you came from and leave the fighting to those who've got the guts for it. I've plenty of guts, my lady, which is why you needn't trouble yourself about that rat any longer. You mean it's dead? Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. It was the least I could do for a damsel in distress. Now, how about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. Having spent a lonely night in a somewhat uncomfortable and shabby bed, the bard awoke the next morning in a foul humour. You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. I had to chase him out. Yeah. 